What is up guys? We're here at Carol's house and she's sick. She doesn't want to be on camera, but we have a special little episode for you guys today. Um, after seeing a bunch of these study uh, Bible studies that are going on in our youth's house and seeing some of the people that go and seeing how some of them are pretty uh, confused and devastated, but they go for hope. I wanted to give you a little chit chat, and that chit chat is, uh, it, if you look at the news and some of the information that's going around, uh, you might think that things are going bad and they're not getting any better. Um, especially the the news that just was announced that um, that New York's. Uh, the state of New York is allowing third trimester abortion. If you don't know what that means, it means that if a woman decides to have an abortion, she can have it all the way up to the day that pretty much she's conceiving. Uh, at the nine months mark, they can go ahead and decide to abort. Other than that, you hear calamity in other states like Venezuela and Peru and all these other, oh, not states, countries, my bad. But you see that they're getting worse too. And pretty much it looks like it's just getting worse before it's going to get better. As Christians, we have to understand that in the Bible, it tells us that all these things are going to happen. And... As much as we want to pray for it to get better, it's not. And it's because it's just uh, um, the prophecy of Jesus Christ's return. That everything is just going to turn into calamity. And Jesus is going to come back and save us from that. But that, should that discourage us from praying? No, absolutely not. We should definitely keep on praying, keep on hope, and pray for those that are struggling because there is persecution in today's world. And you already know that at the end, we are going to suffer persecution if we make it that far as Christians here in the United States. So before you know it, that um, I believe what I always talked about, and especially with these Bible studies, and it's um, to keep going out there, keep saving lives, because those are all treasured lives. And who are we to just hold on to salvation like that and not share it with others? And just like the Bible says, it's not our jobs to change their hearts because God, uh, God, God does that. What we do is just plant the seed. It's been very heavy in my heart to do that and I'm trying little by little on my behalf on doing it, but I think that my efforts are minimal and it should definitely uh, be a priority in my life. That, of course, living my own testimony and showing my friends, my family, my change is one part of it. And then having these random conversations with other people, that is a part of it. But actually going out of your way and taking the time the most valuable thing you have in this life is time and going to the people just like Jesus did. And I think that's what we as Christians are meant to do or are supposed to do if we're, if we're following Jesus' ways. And I encourage everybody out there um, to not only be a light to others and a beacon for people to come to you, but also you do what Jesus did and go to the people. He went to the uh, to the towns, he went to the front doors of people, he went inside the houses, and even, um, even when he was traveling, he always took the, he always took the direct routes to the towns because he wanted to preach. And so I encourage you guys to take a little bit of time out of your day and actually go out to somebody if you see him on the streets or anything and share the word with them and like i said i i i hope that everything turns out well and then they receive you well but 
we already know that there's going to be a percentage of people that are just going to reject you and that's okay just pray for them and as long as we do our due our due diligence then god will do the rest um but other than that uh i hope that this week's been a blessing to you guys and i hope you enjoyed the rest of your week uh future events uh, the regeneration youth group are having a snow trip we're going to go tahoe so look forward to those videos super bowls this upcoming sunday who's going to take it patriots or the rams um Elmer and Robert think the Patriots are going to take it, but who knows? The Rams might take it, and then it'll be another Super Bowl with the New England Patriots are out of it. And other than that, once again, thank you for all those that contribute to the raffle. It was a good amount of money that was collected, and it's going to go to a good cause. And a big thank you to Kimberly for organizing that. We have more events coming up, and we have more things that we're trying to do, collaborations with MDR, and hopefully reach out to more churches and do collaborations with them. But at the end, remember, you have to die from your old self to live your new life and be regenerated. God bless. Peace out.